behind those extreme makeovers. She joins us live now with more. Miriam. Well, Mark, tonight a lot of people are looking in their mirrors and wondering what can be done. Well, tonight we take you to Beverly Hills and show you some of the possibilities. From down and tired to fresh and happy, Surgeon to the Stars Dr. Paul Nasif says the goal today is a look that is non-surgical. The patients now are more apt to have plastic surgery because they still look natural but rejuvenated. One example, retired CEO Bob Stoltz. My neck was getting more and more saggy, you know, the turkey gobble kind of a thing. Three months and after the surgery, see if you can find the incision. All the way down to here, and then they go around the back and up probably about a half to three-quarters of the way behind the ear. Stoltz is one of many converts telling a success story at the Mosaic Hotel at a seminar featuring Dr. Nasif's work. We're going to talk about the secrets tonight, the real scoop, the dirt, the everything about the extreme makeovers. Eve Michaels' makeover also involved a subtle approach. She had her nose done, a jowl implant right here, and a lower facelift. Michaels does not hide the fact she turns 50 this summer. But makeovers are not she just for baby boomers. This eyes. patient is the in her early eyelids. 30s. And once we rejuvenate the upper eyelids, she looks completely different. Many solutions for many age groups. Bob Stoltz now is a very happy 60 years old. People who don't know exactly what I did just think that I look good. Before you get started, pay it better take a realistic look at your pocket butt. Your pocketbook, the procedure for Dr. Stoltz, or rather Mr. Stoltz, w is estimated anywhere from $8,000 to $10,000. Reporting live, Miriam Hernandez, ABC7. Now back to all of you.